Good afternoon. All righty then. And uh, welcome to yet another episode of our Lunch and Learn. Guys, it is a Friday. Fry yay. And I'm supposing you've had a, mis- a fantastic week. And right now you're just getting ready for the weekend. And I applaud you for all the hard work, all the effort and everything else that you've put together to make this week a success. Kimberly, thanks for tuning in. And Anthony, nice one, my man. Hopefully you've had a fantastic week. We all have had a really good week here at um, at HQ. So, guys, today is a really, really simple one. As you know, um, every single day we go live for 30 minutes just to, you know, help you market, scale, and grow your business, especially if you're a digital entrepreneur. And if this is your first time tuning in, welcome. Um, my name is Prosper Tarawinga, and basically what we do um, here at Live Long Digital is help you market, scale, and grow your digital enterprise or business that you might have. So today, the topic that we're talking about is pretty much about personal branding and what you actually need to know and how it's affecting your sales, how it's affecting um, how people resonate with your work and how it's actually affecting how your ads, if you've got any out there, are converting, okay? So before we even look at what it is and why it's important for one to have a personal brand. Um, I really want to ask you a question. Why do you do what what you do? You do what you do because either you're serving um, a personal goal, a purpose, or you really want something or an outcome or a lot of things. So Trish, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in, my love. Hopefully, hopefully you're going to um, enjoy this Friday one because we're talking about personal branding and I think it's your favorite uh, thing to have. Um, reason being, you're the one that brings people's brands out, okay? So sometimes it's actually really important just to promote yourself instead of your business. Does, does that really make, make sense? Because half the time, and it is generally known, guys, that... People buy from people, all right? It's long gone are the days where um, everybody was hiding behind an avatar and, you know, people would pretend to be a corporate, which they're not. The reason being, if somebody buys something from me today or something from Trish, they want to know, are you going to be there to answer their call just in case they get stuck? Are you going to be there to help them one-on-one because whatever they buy from you, they're going to need it implemented or corrected in the, in, in, in depending on what it is that you do. So your personal brand is what will then calm them down and align with their fears that maybe you're not just somebody who's going to run away from them. So that then increases your chances of people buying from you because you're consistent, because you're always there, and you can actually relate to people that, yes, I'm the person that you can count on eight years or nine years from today. I'll still be here. I'm not going to run away. All right. As we all know, I always talk about one click wonders. It's people that have grown a, a brand, which is pretty much maybe a, a fake brand or something that people cannot align with and they cannot Naturally, no one really likes crap. And even if you've built crap, you are not going to be aligned with it. So that's why I'm saying sometimes it's really, really important that you promote your um, yourself and, and more than you would promote your business. One other thing, Abby, how's it going? One other thing that you would notice is there's people like, um, you know, uh, Russell Brunson. There's people like um, Elon Musk. They've built a lot more other businesses around their own personal brand. So you can still venture from that one thing that you're working on right now onto other things and you can carry on the authority that you've created within your own personal brand and impart it to other places. So I'll be dealing and, you know, going into all those examples a little bit later on. So I just wanted to clarify why we need to listen to this um, call today. The reason really being is even if you're putting ads out there, if somebody does not know you, if somebody has never heard of you, no matter how good your ad is going to be, no matter how perfect the pictures are and whatever, you will notice it. 
Right now, we are all trying to put ads on Facebook, but they're not converting. Or if they do convert, the people don't go further than, you know, just maybe getting that free item that we're putting on there. The reason is because they don't know us well enough. They don't know us well enough to trust us to go any further. Naturally, people need to see you six to seven times for them to actually make a logical decision that they want to work with you. All right. So that's where the personal branding now comes in. Instead of you selling, 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 build, build, build. And when somebody does come into that party, they've got something to nibble. All right. I always talk about that. So naturally in, in like today's digital world, guys, we're all in it. We're seeing people grow. We're seeing them come and go. You know what I mean? To you, for you to actually succeed as an entrepreneur means you have to build a visible and impactful social brand. If you're not seen on Google, if you're not seen on social media, whichever one it is, it's going to be so difficult for anyone to relate with anything that you're going to put out there. Now, Trish says image is important. I always say you won't go out to a meeting in your Andes. Uh... Hello, I put pants on. <laughs> so why launch a business in your hand is dress up to impress. First impressions are important. Logo is very least. Exactly. All right. Logo is the least of your problems. Logo is the least of your worries. All right. So your personal brand is actually defined by attaching pretty much monetary value to it. Because if no one knows who you are or no one really respects what you are representing they're not going to buy from you all right so in as much as you want to peddle your products but you also have to be peddling a brand that people can align with and people buy what they are going to become all right so if your brand does not represent the aspiration that they want to become or the status that your brand comes along with, it's going to be so difficult for you to actually move the needle in terms of sales, um, you know, moving forward. Chad, thank you so much for tuning in. All right. So as a as an entrepreneur, your personal brand is should be adequately developed. All right. And it has to come through what you write, how you say it, who you are seen with and people that you associate with. Jack, how's it going, my friend? Okay, so whatever you're putting out on social media these days, I don't know if you've noticed, Facebook is slowly becoming a search engine. All right, I don't know if I can show you real quick here uh, if it's actually going to work. And I put that on there. Let me see if it's going to work. If it does, I'll, t I'll flip the camera so that you can see what I'm looking at right now. I think so. Yeah, let's go there. Let's go there. I'm going to flip my camera. All right. So just have a look there. You now have an opportunity to choose a post. Look at that. I just put in lunch and learn. Okay. And then you now have an opportunity to choose where the post from anyone or from you. Let's choose me. I don't know how quick this is going to be, but let's, uh, go. yes, let's go there. All right. So every post that I ever put up that has lunch and learn or something like that, which is the program you're watching right now, if you're just tuning in, see, this is what it is. See, this is all the stuff that I've ever put out, which has got lunch and learn on it. So slowly Facebook has now become a search engine. Look at this. If I go on to anyone, if anyone has ever posted anything to say lunch and learn, all right, so you see all of that, see lunch and learn Malaysia, all posts are now grouped according to what it is that you have put in there. So slowly, Facebook has become a search engine. All right, so whatever you're putting out there guys it can be searched and it can be dated back to whenever you started okay so this is now a really good time to actually brand yourself if you really want to make it big online because it doesn't matter if you're going to put up a weird status update if somebody really searches you they can now see everything that you put out there but you're putting you know you want people to think you're a thought leader but you're there talking about your baby mama and all that junk that comes along with it 
Okay, so this is why I'm now saying, guys, you are now defined by what your social footprint says. I'm not saying that. This is exactly what we're seeing unfolding in front of our eyes as we spreck and see. All right, it's a Friday today. I'm so excited. And everybody else is going to be on the bottle or, you know, sipping whatever pina coladas with your gang and your clique, yada, yada. But if somebody then wants to know how you can help them, they will look you up. And you are as good as what Google says you are. And these days, you're as good as what Facebook says you are. Because what we thought was behind closed doors is now open to the public. They have turned their platform into a search engine. Now, this is the best time to actually recreate, reconstruct your personal brand. If you really want those ads, if you really want those sales, and if you really want that business to actually take off. All right. So it's 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 never an exciting time. I mean, for those that have been doing well, guys, kudos, guys. It's it's fantastic. It's good. But if you haven't been really, really, really tying up all the loose loose ends and really checking out what's going on and what's really, really, really happening with your brand, it's now time to focus on that. Okay, so what can you do to actually brand yourself like um, like an influential leader and what is it that you then need to do in order to cover your basis for the future and for when people are actually searching for you? Because let me not lie to you guys, I pay particular attention to where my money goes. I pay particular attention to who I pay. You know why? Because anybody else can be an entrepreneur, anyone with, you know, a, uh, a laptop and sweatpants or an underwear, like what Trish was saying, can be an entrepreneur. And I don't want to be supporting somebody who is going to turn around and not be there when I actually need the service done. All right. Yesterday, I was talking to a client. Um, you know, it did end up into a deal, but it was very interesting how they've been following me for the past eight months. I would never remember what I was doing eight months ago, but it's something that I did that made that person come into my world and now they have the courage enough to say, listen, brother, let's go on a call. All right. So you never know who's watching. You never know what they're seeing. You never know what perception anybody has off of you. Because we might think, oh, okay, I'm putting out this content and people are seeing what I want them to see, but people have a different view to certain things. You know, I put up a post the other day and I was like, what is it that really, that you value about what I put out there? If you notice, there's a myriad of different things. And there I was, I thought I was just giving out content. I did not know the perception that every second person has on what I'm putting out there. So you are not any different. People see what they want to see and you just got to calculate it. You just got to control it in a way that you define your own focus and the way you're going to be wanting to be represented by your personal brand. Those are the decisions now that make people want to buy from you. If somebody sees a post of yours in the newsfeed, do they jump onto it or do they get some, some, some excitement or do they just really, 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 um, really, really, really get nervous? Okay, you know, you really want to make sure that people are aligned to what you're doing. People are aligned to who you are. People are aligned to what you are dishing out. Even if they're not going to buy today, at least sometime in the future, they will come back to you and say, hey, listen, because of you, I did A, B and C. Now let's move forward. All right. So that's where the whole compounding, um, you know, effect is going. Uh, Jamie says, have you read Action Selling by Dwayne Sparks? Best book I read in college. A similar message to what you're speaking of. Yeah. I mean, let me tell you something. All this information is there. You know what I'm talking about. This is not new to, 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 to anyone. Trish says, yes, I had someone who connected to me saying they've been stalking me. Loved it. They finally hit me saying they were looking for work for me. Uh, to do for exciting times. Yes, people, <laughs> people are watching. And you also need to control what they see so that the decision process, you know, happens a little bit faster. Okay? So if you want people to really latch on to what you're giving out there, you need to define your focus, guys. Like, I, I always talk about this. Follow one course until successful. All right? Too many entrepreneurs that I've encountered, they lack focus, bruh. They lack focus, you know, which is, as we know, 
people don't know exactly what you do. People don't know exactly what you bring to the table. All right. So it's, it's going to be very difficult. I know it's hard to contain your passion, to contain all that you know into an elevator pitch. But I asked about it the other day and a lot of people do not even know what it is that they actually offer. All right, so it's one of those things. Robert, how's it going? Oh, this energy is a cover up for the nerves. <laughs> I'm shitting myself right now, Robert. Okay, but um, for example, let's say you, you, you're starting up a business, okay? Whether it's the next best thing in like, maybe it's tech fashion or it's the next best thing in, you know, gadget or whatever pen you come up with, you know, on, on, on the market, you know, or it's the greatest app or whatever it is. Or, or maybe you, you've decided to topple Mark Zuckerberg or, you, you know, you're that hipster that thinks, you know, they need to change the world in every statement or every person that they see. To what extent do you think incorporating extra things that people don't understand is going to help you stand out? To actually succeed as an entrepreneur, guys, or as a personal brand, the first task is to actually define what it is that you're going to be focusing on building because people are always looking for people to follow. Now, if they don't see the focus of where you're headed to, it's going to be difficult for them to follow anything. And if they cannot align themselves to what you're building, that's also going to be difficult for them to align themselves to your message or whatever it is you're putting out there. All right. So you need to answer for yourself every what, why, how in relation to what you're doing. So that people have an understanding of if they recommend anyone to you who they respect, they're not going to be embarrassed. All right. Because it's all about, you know, their own self-worth and self-importance at the end of the day. Why are they following you? Is it for status? Is it for education? Is it for information? All right. So you need to really let people justify why they are around you. Okay, so that's where your personal brand is really going to help you there. If you're going to go in, because there's so much happening on the internet, guys. It's like it's like a sh um, you know a, a, a shopping shelf of say detergent. There's so many brands. Every one of them talking about how brighter they wash. Everyone is talking about how new and improved they are. Everyone is talking about how whiter they make things. But it's still washing at the end of the day. How is your brand going to stick out so that your, your customer does not even have to have a second thought about pulling you off the shelf? All right. So this is how the individual that you, you, you are who is building this business. And this is where the personal brand now comes in. All right. So when a personal brand is well developed, it strengthens the company. All right. And then people start knowing the, the company for what it is that you as a person represent. All right. So, you know, there's, there's people that you can look at like uh, Russell Brunson, like I mentioned, um, you know, Elon Musk, people already associate certain things with, you know, with whatever he, he puts his name to. All right. Even if a company is not well known, even SpaceX, we've got nothing to do with it, but everybody's talking about it. All right. So you should actually focus on maybe specific knowledge in your industry or specific education that you provide or specific influence or help that you actually do. OK. And this is when now the brand starts compounding because. When people are out on a barbecue, like today is a Friday, and people are talking at, you know, uh, after work drinks or at weekend drinks, what are they going to say? People will talk only about a person, not about a business, all right? So they want to have stories to incorporate so that it makes them feel good. Provide those stories through your personal brand, okay? Robert says, when you're doing a Facebook Live, what kind of content do you use to be above the rest to help your brand. So Robert, this is what I do. Every night before I go to sleep, I ask a question, all right? And when I ask that question, it gets me to know what people are going through at that particular time. And when I come back, I look at the main things or theme of what people are really talking about. Uh, half the time it's how to get sales. Half the time I ask about what are you actually doing right now? Are people using any marketing, um, you know, time that they have to actually talk about what they do? 
So it, it shows me that people lack a personal brand, which they are proud to say over and over and over again. So that's the reason why I then come in and talk about things like this, Robert. Okay. So I ask questions prior so that I know where people are stuck or what people are not knowing. And then I just, yeah, really talk about it, giving examples that are actually happening in my business or the clients that are working um, in unison to what I'm sharing. I hope I answered your question there, Robert. Okay, so once you've figured out what your personal brand is, you now have to own it, all right? Because there are some people that when you're asked three or four questions about what you do, you start retracting and you start questioning yourself, am I saying the right thing or am I doing the right thing? The more you are not, um, the more you are not confident about yourself, the more people will start doubting you, all right? Because people are paying People really want you to succeed and they're paying and they're supporting you using their credit card or their wallet or sharing your stuff. All right. That you should pay particular attention to guys. All right. All right. So when you are really focused and all you ever think about or dream about is your business, it's easy for you to transition into it. Now, some people, why it's very difficult for them to always be on brand is because they just hooked up with their brand. They did not marry their business. All right. Because if you're actually involved and you're actually doing a really good service and you're actually serving people and people are happy to pay you for your services, you'll be proud of what you're doing. But if it's just a means to an end, that's why people are not connected and that's why your personal brand is not showing and that's why when people see your ad, they're not responding because they don't feel it. People buy from other people, right? So you really want to focus on things that are going to set your brand apart. Okay, so this means whatever you're going to commit to as, as a person or as a company, you need to commit to that and really, really focus on that as a leader. So that when people are out there doing whatever at their barbecue or in their other groups, if somebody mentions, um, you know, digital marketing, you tag me. If somebody mentions graphic design, you tag Trish. You know why? Because her personal brand has, you know, influenced you to know that she knows what she's talking about. Okay, so half of the time, you know, I always keep talking about, you know, Richard Branson, guys, you know, because the man really, really, truly is the brand of Virgin. And you know what, you know what Virgin represents, okay? Virgin to me, I don't know about you, but to me, Virgin represents freedom, represents exploration, a, a lot of luxury. All their brands are filled with luxury, entertainment, and above all, taking a lot of risk, okay? So who is all behind this. This is Sir Richard Branson, okay? And who? how does he embody all of these things, all right? He writes about all of these, um, you know, everything else. He, 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 he really represents the brand, whether he's at Necker Island or wherever he is, all right? So his company and all his divisions, they, they function differently, but they all thrive because of what he has created himself to be. So that's why it makes it easy for him to break new, uh, new, new ground and he just goes as if nothing is going to stop him. That's the risk taking that he does. So when you see Branson, you generally, you know, you, you, you see him, he's out traveling or he's out with his customers or with his employees or he's at Necker Island and he's leading with innovation. All right. So he actually owns his brand position and he's actually built an empire just around his own vision, guys. And you know what? It's just his personal brand, nothing else. And you can never take that away from him because if Virgin Airlines is sued, they can close that company. If uh, Virgin uh, or whatever other company is sued or goes bankrupt, they can take that out. But you can never take the brand that he has created himself. All right. So it's just that thing that just makes you stand out and, you know, people become confident in whatever you touch or whatever you're going to produce out there that you're the man for it. I understand. It's not easy, guys, starting a business. You know, you're going to be struggling to make enough income. You, you, you're, you're not going to have time to make sure that you're looking all right. And you, you, you're going to be wanting to provide results for your customers, obviously. But what are you doing in the time that none of that work is happening? 
Are you creating and relating to the people that are going to purchase from you? All of those things are part of your personal brand. Okay? Do you know what I mean? Well, what, look at the people that you read that really have what you want to be. Stop me creating mediocrity there. Just copy genius. Everything that we ever want in life has been done by people before us. But what we're doing is we want to be so independent and in the process we then forget how to actually explain to people how different we are. Okay, so, you know, you just really need to know and you need to understand and actually fall in love with what you're creating because that's all you got. Nobody else is going to come and knock on your house's door and say, wow, this is so cool. You know, I'm working from home, you know, even the way you dress, the way you, you, you represent yourself on social media, it's not the be it and end all, all right? But sometimes it's really important. You know, although the way you, you actually dress and present yourself, they're also important sort of facets to branding. There's a whole lot more to it. It's basically consistency. That's what people look at. All right. So primarily, how consistent are you? Because nobody really likes a one click wonder, guys. No one wants, you know, a has been or a has run. All right, we all know that. That's the reason why sometimes it's hard to support some of our fellow friends because they tried that last year, it didn't work. They tried that last year, it didn't work. And now they just came up with something else. Ray Ring, how's it going, my man? All right, so personal branding, like I said, it's not just the clothes or, you know, the little p positioning that you do. It's how you communicate your value and how you communicate how you can solve other people's problems so that other people can interpret that in a way that makes them want to pay you. All right. So this means the language you communicate in, um, you know, you, you can you can come across as fact driven or intellectual or conversational. That also is your personal brand. And once you've defined all of those styles, stick to it, guys. Because if you're that tomorrow, that tomorrow, that tomorrow, that tomorrow, that tomorrow, eh, it's hard for people to stay, you know, concentrated to what you're doing. So on a social level, you know, where, where you hang out, who you speak to, all of those things apply to towards you actually creating the person you want to be. So look forwards look at what you want to be in sort of 10 years and work backwards so that you can recreate that person because all we're ever doing is just trying to create the next person that we're gonna be because the person we were 10 years ago is not the person we are today all right so that's why you need to have a marketing plan even for just your personal brand thanks ray rink how's it going my friend it's it's friday now for us so we're about to enjoy the weekend you know because you might just think that a marketing plan is only intended for your business and um, a strategic plan is actually needed for your personal brand as well. So that's where the difference now lies within the market of those that actually stick and those that are just there as a one click wonder. And I'm hoping that everybody else that's really in contact with me is not just going to be a has been or one click wonder. I really want to see everybody at the top. But the only way you got to do that is to carry your brand along with you. All right. People are being too romantic about trying to fix, you know, what's wrong with their business. What they actually really need to fix is themselves. All right. So, you know, you, you, you really need to figure out, you know, maybe one day and think about these sort of questions. I think I wrote a few things down here so that we can answer yourself to see where you're going with this. Just ask yourself, where will you market your personal brand? Are you going to do it offline or are you going to do it online? What channels are where your clients are, 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 are going to find you? Okay, don't just be everywhere, guys. Tire, thank you so much, man, for the love. Thank you so much. Okay, you also need to figure out who is your audience and where do they actually hang out online. Okay, so for this, I would strongly suggest making a detailed user profile. So, do you want to target B2B or B2C or both? Do you have a specific age range and an income? 
an income level or like an educational level or what school do they go to and work history, etc., etc. You know what? This happens. Why this is? Because the more you put out content speaking to that exact same person, when they do see your ad or your offer, it's going to be a no-brainer for them to just actually sign up for it. So that makes it easy for you to then sell because you've done the groundwork already. You already know who your customer is. You're no longer just spraying and praying with your marketing. All right. So you want to figure out the people that you're talking to, what sort of content are they consuming the most and whom do they patronize with and why? You know what I mean? And why do they spend, um, who have they bought from and why are they buying certain products and not other products? Because once you know all of that, you then just become that person that they want to be. The reason is you can never influence somebody who doesn't respect you. Nada. It never happens. So if you're not the brand that somebody wants to be, um, you know, a little bit later on, then forget it. You're never going to win somebody's attention. Okay? So this is one critical... Um, it is quite critical, actually. You know, as a personal brand... It's all about creating a connection with your audience, whether it's one-on-one, -on one-to-many, -one, so that you need to really, really get them to know who you are, and then they can know, like, and trust you. And as we all know, guys, people do business with those that they know, like, and trust. All right. That was my uh, mic drop right there. Just hang in there. I need to sell you something because I can't just go off the weekend without selling something. I can't sell you. I can't go off without selling something. That's how marketers roll. All right. So look at this. This is my first sales pitch to you now in this um, um, call. All right. You really need to figure out the people you're going to be talking to. You really need to figure out what pain you're addressing. And you really need to figure out what product fits that. So you cannot become this or you can never really, um, you know, influence anybody else if you don't know what their pain is and if you don't know what you're giving them in the end trish you know i'm gonna love you for this ever and ever look at how good it looks how pretty does it look you should take a screenshot of this mm. you know all right yes ray ring cool and once you your personal brand knows how to engage these people you start educating them you start inspiring them and you're providing value every now and again while positioning yourself with the personal brand okay so just type in blueprint so that you get a snippet of what we're talking about here and what uh, ray ring says this is actually one thing that will save your business all right none of those facebook ads are going to convert if your personal brand is not in check all right so you really really need to put that in place okay and there's a branding checklist that i have that i i, I fi figured out that a few people would like to have those that are already my customers i'm going to uh, send it to you over the weekend all right and if you find it useful i just need a bit of um a response back to it in the meantime guys i'll check you guys out on monday go out rest and really go and create and connect to the people that are paying money for you to survive all right and you should look after them and make sure that your personal brand is always there for them all right this is prosper guys i'm gonna be out uh, on the weekend with my family and i hope that your hustle also affords you um, you know, time to be with those that you love. Even if you're out on a weekend, just embody what you're going to be putting out to, um, you know, to, to the universe that just there. Invaluable information, people. Just talk to Prosper. He will help. Okay. All right, guys. Have a good one. I'll speak to you all on Monday. And if you've got a problem before Monday, just send us a message. All right. All right. Bye for now.